Thank you for your interest in investigating the possibility of enrolling your child in our biology course with classes by Beth Plus. My name is Dr. Joey Haida. I created this presentation to provide you with information which will allow you to make the best decision possible regarding enrollment of your son or daughter in this course. As I was planning what I would say in this presentation, I came up with three main questions I thought a parent would like to have answered. They are, first, who is the instructor? What are his credentials and teaching experience? Second, what curriculum will be used in this course? From what perspective will the course be taught and what topics will be covered? And third, how will the course be structured, such as will it include activities and lab experiences, and will there be tests or quizzes? So let's look first at myself, the instructor for the course. I was raised on a farm in central Texas, and my dream growing up was to become a large animal veterinarian. After high school, I entered the animal science program at Texas A&M University in order to get my prerequisites for vet school. It was during those first three years that I met my college sweetheart, Lisa, who became my wife, who was also seeking entrance into vet school. We gained admission to vet school in 1983 and 1984, and it was during our third and fourth years of vet school that our first daughter was born. Her birth brought some reality to the idea how potentially stressful family life might be like with both parents practicing vet medicine, and because we both felt like we wanted a large family, we began considering alternative fields of work where we could utilize our training yet maintain a more stable family life. The field of education was promising, so I took a position teaching science at a rural school in northeast Texas. I quickly realized that teaching was my gift and I could readily utilize all of my training from both my undergrad and vet school classes to make my classroom literally come alive with my science students. Teaching science in a hands-on way, fully experiential, with kids seeing, hearing, smelling, touching, and even tasting science, has been my philosophy for the past 25 years. Kids thrive in this learning environment. It was a fun type of learning for them, and very rewarding for me to observe their growth. During these years, my wife and I were blessed to add nine more children to our crew. We have six children by birth, and then four who joined us through adoption. Three of the adopted to having special medical needs. We also continued our formal education by earning our master's in education and then working towards our doctorates in education. I taught in a small public schools in Texas and then later in Nebraska where I also taught health science courses at the local community college. While teaching in these public schools, I quickly found the biology text I was asked to use to be ineffective at providing my students with a well-balanced, organized foundation in biology. I found my students memorizing terms and definitions along with random facts which seemed unrelated to concepts being presented in previous or later chapters. Consequently, I set about to writing my own biology curriculum which would provide students with a solid framework on which to build concepts currently accepted in the life sciences. As my teaching moved to homeschooling students and families, I was also able to include in my writing references to God as being the creator of all living things. I maintain an awe and respect for life and view it a privilege to share my knowledge of these living systems with students. The curriculum which resulted from my teaching experiences became Friendly Biology. And this takes us to the second question. What is the curriculum that will be taught in this course? The text is broken into four major segments. The first segment of Friendly Biology focuses on life processes common to all living things. These five life processes become themes that are referred to many times throughout the entire course. After an introduction to these five life processes in the first lesson, an overview of basic chemistry is presented next. This information provides the foundation for understanding the next three lessons, which cover carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins. The course continues with a presentation of cell structures and then moves into the exploration of mitosis with detailed explanations of chromosomal duplication. Protein synthesis is then presented in detail, followed logically by an introduction to meiosis and reproduction in living creatures. 
A look at basic Mendelian genetics is presented next, followed by introduction to taxonomy. Students move in a very logical sequence through these topics in an effort to have the content make good sense, as references are constantly being made to previously presented topics. The course then moves into the second segment of the text, which is a survey of all living creatures based upon the taxonomic divisions which were just presented at the end of the first segment. Each kingdom and phylum are presented with classes and orders of various species of living things highlighted. Now note, it's not the intent of the course to present an exhaustive review of all living things. Instead, it's our goal to present the vast breadth of variety found in these many miraculous creations. Students are encouraged to continue study on their own any organisms they find of particular interest. The third segment of the Friendly Biology uh, text consists of a thorough introduction to human biology. In this section, students will examine all of the body systems, with major emphasis being placed on anatomy and function, but yet more importantly, how each body system is related to each other. It is the goal of this section of the text to make students better stewards of their bodies and better informed consumers of health care, both for themselves and their future family members. In the fourth and final segment of the text, students will be introduced to the basics of ecology. How living things interact with each other and their environment will be the focus of this final segment of the course. So now that I've shared information about myself and the curriculum which will be used in the course, let's take a look at the structure now of this particular online course. Students will meet online one day per week for 75 minutes. At the beginning of each class period, a thorough review of the previous class's topics will be made with opportunities for students to ask any questions they might have. The new concepts are then presented along with concrete examples of the concepts with appropriate, well-correlated lab activities. Students will be provided with a list of supplies to be needed for each week's lesson and will first watch as I demonstrate the lab activity. Then, as a group, will all conduct the lab simultaneously step by step. The labs are all safe and will require items commonly found around your house or local grocery or hardware store. So, there's not really a divided lecture and lab time in this course. Instead, the two are melded together to make an effective learning presentation. For the human biology segment of the course, dissection activities will take place using fresh animal specimens. These presentations will only be demonstrated, and I'll be happy to answer any specific questions you might have regarding these activities. Each class time will culminate with a thorough review of concepts presented, and the assignment will be made to complete the lesson practice pages found in the text. Then during the week between class meetings, students will be required to take an online quiz covering the concepts presented in class. The quiz will be submitted to me online where I'll review the work and then provide feedback. At the end of the course, a final exam will be given. All questions, whether on a quiz or final exam, will be multiple choice formatted questions. Now note I'll be available during posted office hours during the week for any questions or concerns which may arise regarding the course. So we've looked at, at the instructor for this course, the curriculum we'll be using, and finally the structure of the class itself. I welcome you to contact me if you have any questions or concerns about what has been presented here. I can be reached by email or telephone Monday through Saturday, and morning hours work best for me. So thanks for listening to this presentation. I hope it was helpful in allowing you to make the best decision for your child and your family.